Hi, this is Sean with the Team Ball Hall special presentation. So folks have been asking me how I go about uh, recording these videos, getting this overhead footage that I take of pool matches. So I've put the details together in as precise a way as I can muster, and I'll include links to all the products I show here in the video description below. So to start out, uh, I've got a couple of GoPro Hero 4 sessions. Uh, which is a really small camera and I'm very happy with them. I bought the first one uh, probably a year or so ago and I paid about 150 bucks used on Craigslist and then the second one I bought more recently maybe just two or three months ago and I paid 99 bucks for it at a local pawn shop. Uh, one of them has 32 gigabytes of memory and the other has 64. Clearly 64 is better uh, if you're gonna run longer. Uh, also, the battery life on these things isn't quite enough to get uh, some longer matches that I'm recording, so I went ahead and added a battery, and I found these really nice thin form factor batteries on Amazon, uh, which work perfect with a bit of Velcro on the back of the camera and give this nice little low profile extended battery life setup that I've got going here. Uh, and then you can see these clamps. Uh, now these clamps and this setup I arrived at based on the needs of you know at my local home bar and I also have a, a pair of a pretty big and heavy set of clamp, uh, snake clamp that I use if I'm traveling and I'll say that you know I'm still learning to use that thing it's it's tough and the thing about it is, is the most important point about this ang shooting at this angle is to get uh, dead center on the table right above the center of the table and then get the camera pointing directly straight down at a 90 degree angle from the surface of the table. Uh, and so you need to do that to, because of the warping of the lens and then later the software unwarping. Between those two, it throws off, it makes, you know, give you a football shaped uh, pool table as you might have seen in some of my videos in the past where, where things weren't perfect. Um, so as you can see here in my home setup, uh, got the clamps and a couple of uh, additional pieces here pieced together and it fits really nicely right between the, the light tubes of the light that I'm, I'm filming from. It's, it's almost hard to even see them if you don't if you don't look for them you might not even notice that they're there. Uh, I shoot these at this angle and it turns out that you know the height of these uh, at my home bar the height of these lights is just perfect to shoot at 1080 wide. That gives me a nice view of the whole entire table and gives me enough extra around the edges of the table so that I, when I take the fish out, out later, I'll have just a, a pretty good shot of the table. Um, so once I get all that set up, I uh, try to show up early, make sure I got everything right, although I'll still mess that up from time to time. I just did that actually. Forgot to check my settings and shot in some weird settings, which may be a happy accident, we'll see. Uh, I typically though would go with the 1080 wide I think is, is pretty good. 1080 super wide seems to distort things a little more than you can recover from when you're trying to undo it. So um, I'll hit play or hit record on those two cameras and let the matches play out. Just forget about them. Let them go. Uh, and then at the end of that I'll obviously do some post processing. So when I get back to the house I'll bring these into software. That's where I'll go in and clip out all the dead time. Uh, keep the score, keep up with who's shooting, and also, you know, apply de-warping to get the fisheye effect back out of the footage, uh, and a little bit of color correction uh, sometimes just to make it uh, a little more pleasant to watch. So that's a pretty good summary of my current process. I do want to add a bit of a teaser and say I just bought something new, a new toy that I'll be bringing to bear into, into these videos, so stay tuned for something new and hopefully cool. Thanks for watching.